Sweetie from 10 Sigma. Welcome to episode 88 of Transition Tuesday. Today I'm going to talk about the importance of transition students volunteering. Right now I'm going to switch over to a short slide presentation to share some information. Because the holiday season is approaching, it is an excellent time to talk about the importance of helping your transition age students get involved in volunteering. In this video, I will share some important benefits of students learning about and actively volunteering. I will also give some tips and suggestions on how you can help your students prepare and get started. I'm going to start with some interesting information that was found from surveys and studies about the positive effects of volunteering. Volunteers help make the world a better place. Youth and young adults who volunteer are less likely to engage in risky behavior and become more likely to feel connected to their communities. A youth who has a parent who volunteers is nearly three times more likely to volunteer on a regular basis. And from the Prudential Financial Spirit of Community Initiative, they found that nine out of 10 respondents who volunteer said that service makes them feel good about themselves, in part because it leads to feeling like they have made a difference, 79%. Feeling needed, 59%. Feeling happier and less stressed, 59%. And building self-esteem and confidence, 54%. The benefits of volunteering, specifically for transition age students, include that volunteering has a meaningful positive impact on communities as well as the students. The student gets to know their community while also having a commitment to a cause or a belief. They also feel good about themselves. Volunteering allows the student a chance to learn, share, and develop new skills or interests. It provides motivation and a sense of achievement. They can also earn in some schools, high school credits. It boosts career and additional school paths. It improves the student's soft skills, especially communication and working with others, and it helps build their resume and expand their network. In some cases, they can even find a mentor to mentor them in a field that they may want to go into. And it allows for an opportunity to meet a diverse range of new people thus providing the student different experiences. After you have introduced volunteering to your students, for them to get the most out of their experience, have them consider and answer the following questions. What have I done in the past that I've enjoyed? What do I want to do as a volunteer? Maybe they're not able to answer this, but they probably can answer what they would rule out doing. How much time can I commit? What talents or skills can I offer? What kinds of people do I want to work with? And what would I most like to learn by volunteering? Answering these questions first should help them narrow down when they start looking for what kind of volunteering experience they would like to have. Now it's time to teach the students how to get involved. Organizations everywhere need volunteers. It doesn't matter if you live in a city or in a rural area. Here are some ways for students to get started. They could call programs based in their community and ask if they need help. They could visit their town's website. Oftentimes they list volunteer opportunities in their area. They could contact a local museum or other cultural institutions. They could ask libraries, religious organizations, and community college if they sponsor any volunteer groups. They could also check out the following national websites to learn more about the causes and find a volunteer opportunity near them. The United We Serve, Network for Good, Idealist, Volunteer Match, and DoSomething.org. Volunteering really has no boundaries. Other ideas for students to check out would be clubs at schools. They can help with or start a local school recycling program. 
also local school or community collection campaigns such as food, clothes, school supplies, toys, etc. Another idea includes organizations around their community, like helping at a homeless shelter, help with a local food drive, or work at a sponsored soup kitchen, church organizations, Habitat for Humanity, recognize and helping veterans. They can collect personal care packages to send overseas. They can visit a local veterans facility or hospital, local recreation districts or groups. They can tutor or mentor programs like Big Brothers or Big Sisters. They can help out with Little League activities or collect used equipment. They can help with local, regional, or state Special Olympic competitions. They can volunteer at senior citizens' homes or senior centers. They can consider the medical or health care field, nursing homes or medical clinics or hospitals for people in need. If they enjoy entertaining kids, they could collect books and toys for children to help them pass the time while in the hospital. There are walkathons and other fundraising activities that fight major diseases. They could get involved with Safety First with a student watch program with the local police department. Or if they're interested in animals, they could check out the local zoo, animal shelter, or humane society, or even a wildlife refuge. Once your students have found a place to volunteer, review the do's and don'ts of volunteering. These consist of, do be flexible. It's rare to find the perfect fit right away. Keep an open mind. You may discover something new that interests you. Do be persistent. Volunteer coordinators are often very busy, so don't assume that they're not interested in you if they don't call you right away. Do attend orientation meetings. Keep in mind that informed volunteers are the best volunteers. Do be responsible, meaning showing up on time and following through with your commitments. Don't expect to start on the top. You have to work hard and prove your worth before you're given more responsibility. Don't think that volunteering has to be a group effort. You can do it as a group, but you can also do it as an individual and do expect to get plenty of personal enjoyment and satisfaction from your volunteer experiences. For today's bonus, I'll be sending you a PDF packet that was created from some of the slides in this video that you can give your students. It consists of the questions they should answer before volunteering, ideas of how and where to look for volunteer opportunities, and the do's and don'ts of volunteering. I'll also be sending you a second PDF that is more of a lesson plan for a class project on volunteering. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you use this information to help get your students started in volunteering. Be sure to check your email for the bonus we just sent over. If this is the first time you've ever seen an episode of Transition Tuesday, click the link below to receive the bonus. Be sure to like and share the video and leave a comment or suggestion for a future episode of Transition Tuesday. Have a great week and happy Thanksgiving. See you next Tuesday.